capillarity of a soil is a phenomena in which water rises up to some distance above the water table and some part of the soil gets uh, fully saturated and above to that some part of the soil get partially saturated pressure at the water level or at the top of the water table is atmospheric pressure and below to that is the hydrostatic pressure capillarity water is held above the water table due to the surface tension hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the stress distribution in a soil having the capillary rise i have been given a question which states that for the subsoil condition shown in the figure below we have to find the effective stress values at one meter two meter and four meter depths and assume that the unit weight of water is 10 kilonewton per meter cube you can see the subsoil condition shown in the figure so water table it is at a depth of 2 meter from the ground surface and uh, from this water table up to the ground surface we have a capillary saturation okay this is a sandy soil which have a specific gravity of 2.60 and void ratio of 0 0.6 the first thing before finding the stresses you will first find the unit weight of this sand okay so this saturated uh, unit weight of the sand this is given as gamma saturated g is equal to g plus e divided by 1 plus e into the unit weight of water so it will be 2.6 plus 0 0.6 divided by 1.6 into 10 which is 20 kN per meter cube will be the unit saturated unit weight of sand after finding the saturated unit weight of the sand now you can find the stresses at different depths of the soil first we are taking uh, uh, since this sand is saturated by gravity flow below the water table and by capillary flow up to the height of two meter above water table first we will take the depth of at ground surface that is at z is equal to zero meter okay so for z is equal to zero meter total stress this will be zero because there is no weight of soil above zero meter so total stress will be zero pore water pressure this will be uh, minus gamma w into z since in capillary zone uh, pore water pressure is always negative that's why i have uh, put a minus sign in front of this pore water pressure okay so unit weight of water this is 10 kN per meter cube and distance of this water table from the ground surface is 2 meter so it will be z will be here 2 so pore water pressure will be equal to minus 20 kilopascal effective stress this is equal to total stress minus pore water pressure so it will be 0 minus minus 20 which is plus 20 kilopascal will be the effective stress at 0 meter similarly at z is equal to minus 1 meter total stress this will be equal to gamma saturated sand into z gamma saturated sand is 20 kN per meter cube and z is 1 meter so it will be 20 kilopascal pore water pressure again this will be negative because this 1 meter is in the capillary saturation zone so unit weight of water this is minus 10 and distance of water table up to this 1 meter is uh, 1 meter so it will be minus 10 into 1 which is minus 10 kilopascal will be the pore water pressure at z is equal to minus 1 meter effective stress this will be sigma minus u so it will be 20 minus minus 20 which is equal to 30 kilopascal will be the value of effective stress at z is equal to minus 1 meter after that at z is equal to minus 2 meter total stress this will be gamma saturated of sand into z so unit weight of sand saturated sand is 20 and distance z here is 2 meters so it will be 20 into 2 which is 40 kilopascal pore water pressure uh, at uh, this 2 meter will be zero always remember at the top of the water uh, table pressure is atmospheric pressure so it means that the pore water pressure is always zero at the top of the water table effective stress this will be total stress minus pore water pressure so it will be 40 kilopascal after that at z is equal to minus 4 meter total stress will be equal to unit weight of this sand into the distance from the ground surface so it will be 20 into 4 which is 80 kilopascal 
pore water pressure this will be gamma w into z so it will be 10 into 2 which is 20 kilopascal okay and effective stress this will be 80 that is total stress minus pore water pressure so it will be 80 minus 20 which is 60 kilopascal so this is the value of total pore water pressure and effective stress at z is equal to minus 4 meter okay so you just have to remember that uh, above the water table the pore water pressure will be negative and below the water table the pore water pressure will be positive you can also draw the stress distribution diagram for this uh, soil okay so at z is equal to 0 meter total stress was 0 pore water pressure was minus 20 and effective stress was plus 20 kilopascal at z is equal to minus 1 meter total stress was plus 20 kilopascal pore water pressure was minus 10 kilopascal and effective stress was plus 30 kilopascal at z is equal to minus 2 meter total stress was plus 40 kilopascal pore water pressure was zero and effective stress was also plus 40 kilopascal and finally at z is equal to minus 4 meter a total stress was plus 80 kilopascal pore water pressure was plus 20 kilopascal and effective stress was plus 60 kilopascal so this is how you can find the stress distribution in a soil having the capillary rise i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learned something new from this video if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned